All right, so this is going to be day one of Manchester, uh, and that's the train to Manchester, two and a half hour journey. Let's go. All right, made it to Manchester. Um, gonna get an Uber because my stomach stuff is a little bit crook. Uh, then hop off, I'll stop off at my host hostel, empty out everything, because I've got so much on me right now, and then explore this beautiful city. It's actually nice weather, so uh, can't wait. Can't bloody wait. So here's the dorm that I'm staying in. Four men dorm, but there's no <laughs> fucking curtains, so. I'm just going to be staring at this dude while I sleep, but pretty good views. Nice. Yeah, interesting. Air and shower though, which is cool. Just spent the last couple of hours walking through Manchester, just taking in all the sights. Incredible. It kind of has a Melbourne-ish vibe. Um, very low key compared to um, London, that's for sure. Um, architecture's really nice. You'll see some of the videos and stuff in here. But um, I still got that cook gut. I, I can't believe it. Uh, I still feel like shit. Um, better, but I still feel like shit. Went to the pharmacy, got some tablets. Uh, had my first food of the day, and it's 6.20. So I'm um, going to go shower up and probably head back out for a couple of quiet drinks. All right, I'm taking myself out for the first time in a couple of days because of that stomach bug. Um, just going to go get some drinks. And uh, yeah, we'll see where the night goes. Not gonna have a big one, but I uh, just wanna get out and explore the nightlife a little bit. Day two in Manchester, this is gonna be my biggest day, um, just exploring the city. It's a beautiful city, I love it already. Um, let's do it. All right, so now behind me is the football museum. So the soccer museum. I'm not going to call it soccer because I don't want to get bashed. But um, let's go explore that. That's going to be heaps of fun. I've got the football uh, tomorrow, Manchester City and Fulham. Uh, let's get into it. So this football museum was pretty sick. So this book you're seeing here is the first ever rules written for soccer. Like, they're the first rules. Incredible. Um, so coming up, this is just the sort of entrance. Uh, that's one of the first hats ever worn. Uh, this is the Hooligans, um, <laughs> Manchester City Hooligans, uh, which is insane. And this is the first boot, or one of the first boots compared to obviously uh, a new boot here. These are the first shin pads, look, that's just leather. And then obviously the new ones, and what a, the, one of the first soccer balls ever look like. This is giving me some ideas for my board game that I'm working on. Interesting. Coming up to the last level of the museum, this has been so much fun. Learning so much about soccer, football. Um, <laughs> crazy. Heaps of fun, heaps of fun. So second day in Manchester, um, like I showed you this morning, football museum, went to uh, like the chapel and stuff like that. Um, really cool. Uh, I'm just resting now, recording some stuff for um, Sweep Week. Um, and yeah, no, I'm feeling I'm feeling good about the, the whole trip. It's only been a, a, about not even a week yet, right? Um, I haven't 
made a lot of friends at the moment. I think it's just an introvert going on a solo trip is is different. Um, the hostels aren't what I thought they were. I thought they would be more bustling. They're not really. When I go to bars and stuff, I don't go up to talk to people. Uh, just classic introvert, Luke. Um, so I'm a little bit worried or how's it going about sort of meeting people and, and talking to people because at the moment I'm just talking to myself on, on camera and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, but I think I'll be okay. It's just it's just the cobwebs of, of the first week and, and I've been sick and stuff. So I'm giving myself a bit of leniency, but I am proud of myself for, for doing this trip. Um, and I've got a few more weeks and it's, it's just going to be, it's just going to go to, to another level. Uh, and yeah, Manchester's no exception. I can't wait to go to the soccer tomorrow, but uh, I'll take you more on a journey through day two. Whoa. So this big ass typewriter thing is pretty sick. This is what they used to make like some of the first newspapers uh, that went around. These textile machines had to be running for 15 hours a day. That's nuts. All manual labor. Jesus Christ. So this is like the science museum, kind of like science works. You get to play with all the equipment over here and stuff like that. Really cool, really fun. Um, probably, this area is probably more suited to like 10 year olds, but uh, I still had a good time. <laughs> I had a big day, roasted for a couple of hours. I heard Manchester's nightlife is pretty sick, so we're gonna go out now, see how long I last before I get back into bed. All right, let's do it. All right, on my way back to the hostel, it's just before midnight. Vibes were good, um, just still, a little bit weird just being by myself, not really meeting anyone besides the guys that I'm staying at the house uh, in the room with, but they're older dudes, so they're not gonna come uh, partying. Bar hopped, went to four different bars, um, had a bit of a dance, bit of a boogie, but I probably lasted about two hours, if, if that, maybe an hour and a half. Um, so I'm back in, big day tomorrow, Manchester City. Oh my God, I can't believe it's finally happening. So today's the day, just hit a five kilometer PB run and I get to go watch Manchester City. Woo! Oh, this is exciting, this is very exciting. But I hit a five kilometer PB run, hell yeah. Waiting for the Uber to pick me up, but we are off to Etihad Stadium a little bit early. I'm gonna explore it uh, and I'm so, so excited. Let's do it, let's explore it together. Are you kidding me right now? I've been watching these guys 15 years and I'm here. Are you? This isn't real. I can't wipe the smile off my face. This isn't real. I'm really, really here. What the fuck? Oh my God. So we've come back from the soccer, which was incredible. That's in another vlog if you want to go and watch that one. Now I'm off to a rave. So the duality of man, that's going to be fun. We'll see how long I last. I'm kind of, I paid a hundred bucks for it, Australian. So um, I'm going because I paid the money. Am I feeling it? Yeah, thereabouts. I think yesterday really burnt me with, with the bars and just that, that sort of feeling that I've had these last couple of days. Um, so we'll see, we'll go there, we'll see, have a couple of drinks and we'll see what happens. That line just kept going. That's an hours long line by myself for somewhere I'm gonna probably be in for two or so hours because I don't know how I'm feeling. Fell asleep in the Uber. I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I'm going back to the fucking hostel. So this is it, the final day, well not even the final day, the final couple of hours in Manchester. Um, I'm off to Scotland after this. And Manchester has my heart. I really like London, I thought London was nice and magical. But Manchester just reminds me of home. Like even the coffee is good when you go to like 
the boutique sort of coffee places. You are, it is, it is very expensive though. This coffee cost me so a large seven dollars fifty, um, and that was a skinny latte. That wasn't even almond milk because if I add almond milk here, it just goes right up. So um, pretty expensive in just in England in general, but Manchester is beautiful. It reminds me of home. Uh, architecture is just incredible. I want to come back. I want to come back so bad. Um, but now I'll pack and off to Scotland.